Hello everyone, I'm Gunther, and I know games and I play games, and I'm back playing some more Halls of Torment. So, let's get started. Um, I'm going to go with the melee character this time, again, I should say. Um, so our goal is going to be to try to get some stuff done. So, we're going to do it. We are going to play more Haunted Caverns, we're going to hopefully not get immediately dumpstered. I know the new Diablo 4 came out today. Or not today, but technically the early access, so I'll probably be playing that when it actually drops. I kind of was like waiting for the properly, so I don't really like paying extra for playing it early. I'm like, eh, especially like apparently the servers were not very good the first day, so I'm like, yeah, I'm happy I kind of dodged that. I'd have been upset if I spent money on that. So today we're playing a Diablo like instead. Um, I probably won't be playing Diablo for the channel only because like it is incredibly taxing on my computer. My PC is like pretty decent build, but not strong enough for Diablo apparently. Uh, Diablo is beyond it. But it's fine. I'll, I mean, I can play it, I just can't play it and record is more so the problem. But today, our goal is to get a couple of things done. We'll pop the range up. We're gonna try to get some sub objectives done or just see how long we can survive this time. Cause I've been kind of doing meh. The plus about the the warrior, I think, in comparison to the archer. Archer's like obviously got range, which makes him great. But I would argue the other difference here is because of how wide my swing is, and it's not like an, a couple arrows. Like I'm not relying on two arrows hitting. Movement speed, please. I have a bit more, a bit better crowd control to start, but I am definitely feeling the difference between this and the archer. I know there are a few classes to try out, and I kind of want to unlock them all. Some look way, way busted. And I'm always, I'm always for playing a game where you can play a busted build. Like I feel like the power fantasy for some of these games is really good. Yes, more cone. Uh, I think people, a lot of some games just don't really lock in heavily enough on like people just enjoying becoming <laughs> uncontrollably broken. That's why I used to play Borderlands a lot. Uh, I just get mad when they. Would, like, kind of update items and how, they, how guns would work, because I'm like, there's no PvP, really. Besides, like, if you wanted to fight your friends, but not, it's not really a thing. Um, so when I'm, like, doing busted stuff and it's just affecting the PvE and how me and my friends are playing, it shouldn't really matter. Like, I don't see a point in, like, nerfing stuff like that. Like, it's for, even for Diablo, I'm like, I mean, I get it for, the, since that one's gonna have PvP. But when I've heard, like, some of the, bu the nerfs they did to, like, Necromancers, it's like, eh. It's kind of lame. I'm playing playing a barbarian, which apparently is a. Uh, I'm going world with build. I'm gonna be going a little spinny boy. But um, yeah, I don't see a problem with another class being strong. I think people just really want their class to feel strong as well. It's not a oh, let's make everyone weak. It's no, like make everyone strong. Let's all get like ridiculously powerful. And I feel like some games just don't really understand that. But. This game seems to be, I thought the souls like, oh, it's not souls like, the vampire likes understand it because you do get un, like just wildly busted and they per, like they say, yeah, that's cool. Do that. Um, more range, crit chance. I'm going to go health just to get some defense early on. We're not really going to get hit early on, but my, my, uh, my method last time of just going straight damage and insane defense later didn't work out. <laughs> so let's try something different. We are going to beat this guy with no problem, though. He's just walking at us. And he is gone. Okay. So, Ring Blades, Lightning Strikes. Let's try the orbs. I didn't try them last time. I know we're trying to unlock other stuff, but I want to see what these orbs do. I kind of like them. I feel like it's like an extra area around us, obviously. And that helps. I want to get some level close. So basically, we just want to get strong enough for when more stuff shows up. We'll do damage, and I think next time movement speed's there, we definitely take movement speed. I do not want to be too slow when the bosses show up, because that's just not gone well for us before, and I think we didn't start with gear movement speed this time. Oh, a little bit, but eh. Doesn't hurt to have a little more. Oops. Okay, I didn't get hit there somehow. All according to plan. Uh, base crit chance. 
movement speed. I did say I was going to take it, so I have no choice. I, I feel like it's, uh, I'm going to, if I don't take it, I'm going to regret it. And that's like the worst feeling when you see a buff that you should take and you don't. And you're like, oh no, <laughs> why did I make this poor decision? Let's get rid of these skeletals. Um, orbit speed, orb distance, damage. I'm gonna go attack speed. I don't really want the, like, I think it's a pretty, I like the range it's at right now. It's not too far, not too close. And I don't want to go too far because then it's not gonna help us with the enemies as they get closer to us. I think our goal right now is, especially as a melee character, kind of, it's to let them get close to us and like hit them as much as we can. Um, let's go range. I think now we're fine on range. It's more of a, can we get more cone? And damage. If we can get attack speed, it's fine, but I think right now damage is probably where it's at. Get rid of these guys. I also have to, like, remember the waving for when bosses show up. Because I feel like because those imps showed up, that a boss is on its way. But I don't know if it comes up now, like, after the dog shows up. One sec. Sorry. Yet again, the funds of having a cat. Uh, let's go with this. Do we have pickup range, actually? No, we don't. So actually, pickup range might have been the pick there, but it's fine. I also don't want to stray too far from the well, since we know if they give us gear, we have to drop it off there so we can get it for next run. It's a lot of skeletons. Hit 20 enemies at one swipe. Yeah. This is what range gives you. Oh, attack speed, duration. We'll do attack speed. There we go. I wonder if there's like, um, how vampire survivors is like garlic or just does like a straight air we AoE around you. Like, they get in that area, they just decay it and die. I'm curious if they have that in this. I'd be surprised if they didn't have something similar. Cause I feel like the orbs are kind of similar to the... I think the Bible does this in that one, where it spins around you. Okay, um, distance... We'll do this, because this gives us block. So it gives a little bit of defense. I think the main thing I do like about Survivor, Vampire Survivors, is it does lean... It makes it very reminiscent of, like, uh, Castlevania, which I like. Oh no! And that's always a plus for me, especially since we haven't gotten like a new Castlevania game in like 2,000 years. Okay, we need to beat this guy. He's gonna stomp us. He's already kind of showing me that my damage is not great right now. Because I want to make sure when elites show up, I can just kill them. Um... Doo -doo. Attack speed and weapon damage? Yes, we'll take that. We're still fine on health. I think the little bits we got into defense have helped us. As we get hit. Does he have block chains or block stacks? He might, because I'm definitely seeing like, every once in a while I'm seeing a block come through. Oh no! Okay. I think, as I said, I was, like, fine <laughs> with health-wise when I got hit more. There we go. Gear. Ooh. Base crit chance. We already own that. When hit, drop 10 spikes on the ground that deal 100 damage. I feel like this sounds better than this, technically. It takes four seconds to charge. I'm gonna take it. Um, actually, no, we'll take the ring. Because, you know what, since we're going to be dropping it off anyway, I don't want to make this current run kind of just <laughs> fall to the wayside. So I think right now we want to grab some stuff. We need to get some levels and drop this off. I'm almost going to say we go down, get this stupid scroll thing to get a new ability, and then make our way back to the well. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Uh, cone width and crit damage. Yes. 
Yeah, so now we're just like swinging. I don't know if we need more attack speed. I think we just need more damage now. Then while we're coming back up, I'll try to pick some of the stuff up. Yeah, because these armored dudes are taking like two to three swings to go down. And I don't like it. I don't appreciate them living for too long. We need the XP over here. Oh, shield guys. Okay. See, I think we definitely try to get a level here before we start moving. Okay, that was a little dangerous, but we kind of weaved our way through that. There's a couple non-shield dudes over there, so we can hit them. Okay, now they got the sorcerers. Just want to get rid of some of them. Not walk into spells that are clearly choreographed. And then it should get us a level, right? Yes. Um... I wish it would show me on this screen my crit chance and my stats. Because I want to know if it's worth getting the crit percent chance or just more attack speed. Range is not bad. I'll go attack speed. So my crit chance is 25%. Okay. That's good to know. And we're getting close to the scroll I want. They're starting to stack up. We want to get us a path out. I don't like them circling us too much. Ah, dang. I didn't want to hit the fire just yet. Oops. Yep. Kind of walked our way into that. Alright. If we can get the the absorby orb thing that'd be great right now okay we got a level base health and healing over time i'm gonna go more movement speed i'm gonna hope that one of these has it or health is fine the thing i have to remind myself is that this thing is not gonna be close so we're gonna have a walk to get through got another carrot Fine. We're still doing okay. Yeah, if we can, like, get rid of the ranged dudes early, that's good. Okay, so slimes are here. We've now progressed to the next level of pain. <laughs> um, Base health and health regen. Let's get the percent... Let's get the range pick up. Because then I don't have to, like, snake as much to try to get the stuff I'm trying to pick up. And there's a the boss. Okay, so we gotta get rid of this guy. Like, now. Uh, I really hate his shield. I'm trying to, like, get him where he gets hit by the orb as well. Yeah, there we go. Just so it's a little extra damage on him. Yeah, this is the plus about range right now. We can, like keep him far away from us and still hitting with the orbs which does like, like 350 it when it hits looks like all right now we just gotta actually just burn him down and he should be dead soon there we go and we got this um i guess we'll get the needle again because i wanted to get more in that that challenge done for it. And I feel like the splinter is the one that we have to do on the one run or something. I don't remember. One of them is like, you have to like, get whatever bonus from it from the same run. We'll do this. Okay, so now we're doing decent damage. Okay. Let's see if we're going to get to this scroll. I really want one of those things now. Because there's so much XP, like, on the map that I have, like, walked past at this point. 
and it would be like amazing to get like three levels or so right now. Especially because we're gonna take that long trek back to the map. Not the map, the um Okay, they're the dogs. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, okay. The long trek back to the wells, I was trying to say. It's fine, it's fine. I think we wanna get a level before we keep moving. Okay. Um Ability damage or piercing? Ability damage. I don't think piercing helps us in this case. Because I think our swing is just going... It pierces anyway. Unless it comes with the, the ability thing, but I think just giving it more damage is better. This is the perfect time for that fire. Yep. There's the scroll. Okay. Um, we're gonna go Arcane. Splinters. Oh, there it is. I'm like, is it gonna trigger? <laughs> I was not seeing it go. Nope. See, I think now if we can get some defensive items, that'd be great. Okay. I think we need to get ourselves out of that. And I want to get upward, but I'm having a hard time, because they are definitely blocking. We're still fine. So right now the goal is to get to the well, drop the ring off, and then hopefully get the things so we can absorb all the XP we missed. We'll get most of it on the way back up, I believe. Um, we'll get block. The health regen would be great. But I think block's also good, because then we can just kind of mitigate some of the incoming damage we're getting. Yeah, so we're gonna just go around here. I was kind of hoping we'd find- I think there is food over there. Nope, that's a spell. Yes, this is what we needed. This is exactly what we needed. Levels. Ability damage. Um, orb speed. Crit. So let's make it smaller. Look at this. Um, I think now we take the base health, and then if we can get more regen, we do it now. Yeah, let's just take the regen. Okay, boss time. I really wanted to get to the well before this. But it's unfortunate, but we're here. It's fine. Okay, we got the extra damage. Let's get rid of many of those possible. It's close to half. This damage buff came at like the perfect time. I don't know if it always shows up during this boss fight. Because I feel like it feels like it has. Another absorb. Um, we'll get defense. I think damage would be great, but it's fine. We're almost there. Come on. Okay. Yes. Give me the gear. Um... I guess we'll take the helmet. So now we head to the well and drop this stuff off. I'm not sure if we can drop off, um... I assume it's only one item we drop off, not two. So that's gonna suck. It's gonna be a very decisive choice there. Um... More attacks. Do this. More range and cone. I love how now we're finding this item, like every couple feet, even though <laughs> when I needed it the most, I couldn't find it. Maybe it's just sheer luck, but it's fine. We got it now, so I can't complain too heavy. Okay, we're taking a little bit of damage there. Yes, yeah, so we need some more damage, but it's fine. We're doing good, as long as we can keep kiting. 
Yep. And we hit 30. Okay. Um, more attack speed. More attack speed just means more damage. Okay. Let's get to this well. I'm actually pretty happy that we killed the boss, because I was, like, afraid. Nope. Because it did feel... Okay. Okay. This is where things get sketchy. No, we need health. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to just book it to the well at this point, because we got too much stuff and I don't want to lose it all. But, I'm going to be honest with you, <laughs> there's a world where we don't hit there. I need, like, the little, um, how many meters I am from this thing to show up on screen. Except I feel like it would make me very uh, sad to see that it's, like, very far away. Because <laughs> I would say it took us most of this time just to get down there. So I could only use my loan tickets to get back up. Oh, there's the well. Um, damage. So now here's the fun part. How do we get to the well? Come on. Whew, okay. Um, I'm gonna say the helmet. Okay. See, so yeah, we can only send one item. Which is fine. Okay. So now I think it's just, um, killing as much as we can and seeing if we can get some more levels, some more damage. I don't know if there's another sub-boss that shows up at this point, or boss, or elite, or whatever it is at this point. Okay. But we're doing pretty good. Like, honestly, I, I would say this is a pretty- this is our best run. Um, more damage. Okay. We got another challenge done. And I guess I might as well just go up for the one up there. Oh no, dogs. It's okay. Oh no. It's okay. It's alright. They're just sending massive numbers to us, but we got it. Okay, this is like... <laughs> this is actually just frightening. Oh, there's the boss. I forgot about the wizard. I completely forgot about him. We did run into him last time. Because that's when we took too long to kill the other boss. I don't know if we can actually kill him. I want to just get to the thing up top. Because at this point, I just want to feel like I've done something else. Oh gosh. But we're getting there. And I'm slowly hitting him as we're going, which is a plus. Okay, we leveled up. Uh, movement speed. We're moving, we're moving, we're hitting him. We're escaping. <laughs> I want to hold this. I really wanted to hold that a little longer, but it's fine. It is hitting him. And that is kind of what we wanted. It's alright. He's at like half health. We can probably kill him. It's really just dealing with all his friends. Okay. We're getting a lot of challenges done this run. I like it. We got another level, uh, more block, more attack speed, I'm gonna say attack speed, I don't, I think at this point health regen's not gonna do much for us, we're getting hit so often that it, it, it ain't doing enough. <laughs> Clear path. He's like, almost dead. Okay, I think when we, you know, we take the health regen here, but he should be dead. Don't run for me, coward. Okay. Phantom Rift? If needles could still hit more enemies in maximum range of reach, they deal more damage. They deal their main damage, just magic damage in the area around them. Okay. Okay, this is the farthest we've gotten. We're doing good. Okay, as I walk into <laughs> the slowest moving slime. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that they're bursting into more enemies. 
but it's fine. What are you guys? Oh no, these are new enemies. Okay. They die relatively quick. They're like small dogs, basically. Um. Main damage attack speed. What's our attack speed at right now? 1.7. Crit chance still 25. I feel like we're doing pretty good, actually. I think I've hit most of my objectives at this point. Just the challenges for my abilities doing enough damage or stuff. I walked right by the item I wanted to go to. I was so focused on trying not to die there that I just like spaced and was just like, yep, that's the way to go. There's the glove. Okay. Um, we'll do health regen. Cone size, ability damage, range, block stacks. Because I would say the block does feel like it is, it might be part of the reason why we're actually still alive right now. Cone. For how long that'll be, I don't know. We're still getting orbs, so that's a plus. Um, damage. If I can get vampirism right now as an ability, it'd be great. Oh no! It's fine. Life steals a need, but we're fine. I'm slowly getting, like, hit by, like, little things. Mainly the slimes. I think I'm trying to move too much and I'm not noticing them. But we're getting, like, look at this. This is good. Granted, I'm almost dead, but you know what? We did really good. I think now we want to kind of get back around in there if we can and get that XP. Because we killed so many of these little dudes that we can definitely level up again. Oh no, new dogs. And these dogs are actually really strong. Okay. And that is a boss. That is definitely a boss. And she's got projectiles, or it's got projectiles, I don't know what it is, but it wants me dead, and I don't appreciate it. It's summoning skeletons, as if I didn't have enough problems in the world. Um, really don't know what helps us here. Look at range, because we're, <laughs> we're basically just trying to hit that boss through all these enemies, and okay, we're at 70 health. Oh, okay, make that 10. Okay. I could use a box with health item. Okay. Well, we did really good in that run. Like, oh man, that was spectacular, actually. Um, so let's see what meta progression stuff we've done. We've got a couple things unlocked here. Okay. So we still need to do... Jeez, a lot more damage with that. A lot more damage there. So which is the one that we need to do in a run? Just so I can see? Or do we do that one? Kill 50,000 slimes, okay. Kill 50,000 skeletons. Lightning strike. So lightning strike is one that must be done in a single run. Yeah, that, then we're not taking lightning strike for a little bit because that's kind of annoying. Defeat the lich. Okay. So I think right now our next goal is just to get any of these other random ones done. Which we can kind of get done while we're playing. So we're closest to the Shrama's Orb or the Arcane, okay. And then now it's just killing skeletons and stuff, which we're going to be doing anyway. So next time we'll try the archer again and see what we can get there. So I think we can buy the hood from this guy and then put that on. Now we got like almost a full starting kit. And then we have enough money to buy some upgrades. Let's get health regen because now I, I, I've been shirking on the pluses of it and I think I should probably stop. But I think that's all of our meta progression stuff that I can see here. Because we did this. Um, this was the challenges. What was this one again? Register of Halls. Oh, this is the area we want to go to. So yeah, um, thanks again for checking me out. If you like this, please come back for more. My name's Gunther, I know games, and I play games. See ya.